Now we have a GMA health alert. New research out this morning finding the popular GLP-1 weight loss medications may not just be beneficial for adults, but for children and teenagers as well. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, is here. you got to tell us about this study. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So obesity affects one in five kids and teenagers. And we know that children with obesity tend to develop into adults with obesity. And there are concerns when children are obese that they may develop diabetes, go on to develop mm -hmm. cardiovascular disease, joint disease, sleep apnea, liver disease. So there's a whole host of physical problems that can come with obesity and also mental health issues as well. And so we've seen a real rise in prescriptions for GLPs for kids in the last several years. And questions have swirled around how safe are these, how effective are these in kids. So this particular study was a review of 18 trials, around 1,400 kids ages 6 to 17, average age of 13. And they found that the children who took GLPs dropped their hemoglobin A1C by about 44%, dropped their fasting blood sugar, dropped their systolic blood pressure by about 3 points, and also dropped their body mass index almost 1%. 1.5 points and their weight by about three kilograms. In terms of safety, mm -hmm. it did seem like there were can, there were risks or, or profiles that was similar to adults, which is the gastrointestinal side effects that we talk about, the nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, pretty much the same in kids. One thing that did stand out also is that they did not see an increased risk of suicidal behavior or depression, which of course a lot of people worry about when it comes particularly Absolutely, to children. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. That, um, Six years old. I mean, that's a, that's a wide range. Yes. But when you hear six years old, um, just in general, parents that are watching this morning, what should they need to know about this? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics, Robin, released recommendations in 2023 that said for kids six and up, you really should focus on health and behavior lifestyle interventions. However, for kids who are 12 and older, they did say you can try drug therapy. There are two drugs, GLPs, that are approved for kids who are overweight or obese. That is, those are liraglutide or Sexenda or semaglutide, which we know as Wegovy. There are also other drugs that are non-GLP and bariatric surgery, so there are options for parents, but I think the big message is if you're going to go down the drug route, you want to find a healthcare provider that has a holistic approach that not only is giving the drug, but has a psychologist maybe involved, a nutritionist involved. It's really important to teach about healthy portions, not skipping meals, getting enough protein mm. and fiber, mindful eating, someone who's educating them about exercise as well and the importance of that. But we also have to point out that these have not really been studied in kids long term, and there are some questions around could this affect hormones and puberty? Could this affect bone growth um, and mm. development and are there psychological ramifications that may be more negative associated with giving a drug to kids that are that young so a lot of questions still right. but a lot of promising research yeah. that's showing benefits for kids okay. have we gone a week without talking about GLP-1 no, no, not it is amazing yeah. it <laughs> is yeah all yeah. the time okay thank <laughs> you a lot of questions, but you have mm -hmm. always had yeah. the great answers there doc thank mm -hmm. you so much for that